what's the matter with kids today? <laughs> oh, man. You remember that? No, I don't. That's for Rob. I'm too, I'm too contemporary. Okay. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> too young. What's the matter with kids? Apparently, there are a bunch of commies. According to a new Harvard survey, 51% of 18 to 29 year olds said they don't support capitalism, while only 42% said they did. But an astounding 33% said they supported socialism. So, what's going on here? Harvard's polling director told the Washington Post that the millennials he interviewed said capitalism was unfair and left people out despite their hard work. Well, yeah, it is unfair. That's kind of the idea. But if you're being left out despite your hard work, you probably need more capitalism, not less. I think the problem is that these millennials have grown up in a world where they see the system not working. And so they're blaming the capitalism and embracing uh, the socialism instead of realizing there is already too much socialism in our capitalism. Hey, you got capitalism in my socialism. <laughs> How many 70s commercials am I going to reference today? I don't know. You, uh, but to be fair, I, I did get the Paul Lynn and Bye Bye Birdie reference, but... I, my advice to you is to not do those anymore. Rob, I do them for you. Oh, uh, well, they hit me really right where I live. <laughs> Look, what makes you think that young people are embracing socialism? I don't think they are. I what? don't think that they're even rejecting capitalism. I don't think they know what those things are. If you're, if you're young, what, what, what capitalism have you experienced? You, you stayed at home, your parents got everything, and then you went to college where everything was paid for, and then if you want to watch a movie, you just torrent it. If you like Facebook, that's free. Uh, your, your Instagram, all that stuff, that's all free. Everything's free. So why would you, you haven't experienced capitalism. Like you haven't built anything or bought anything or actually done anything that requires uh, actual work and entrepreneurial activity. So why would you like capitalism? That Seems like everything's free, so why, why, why like it? Makes sense. Deirdre. Did you walk to school both ways uphill? No, oh I'm just my kidding. God, it was horrible. I'm just yeah. kidding. I'm just I built kidding. the school. I had to do it all myself. <laughs> but isn't No, to, to Rob, so I'm actually with him on this. I think they asked a couple follow-up questions. So did you believe in bigger government? Do you believe in smaller government? And like people just answered it. It was pretty random. Do you know what I mean? It was like, I'm against capitalism, yet I support a bigger government or a small. It just was all over the shop. Do you frankly. think it's the financial meltdown? I mean, yeah, that was in well, their, you know, adolescence. Sure. They saw this happen. Yeah, they saw their parents go through the banking crisis, 2008, and now capitalism has been attached to crony capitalism. So I think capitalism just kind of has a bad brand. Because if you do speak with older people who lived through the Cold War, capitalism is awesome. Tons of people, you know, escaped a repressive system. They came here. They built businesses. So yeah, just the youngins didn't live through it. Yeah. They have a pretty chill gig, and, and that's that. And also, like, they really, the, the survey found that they thought capitalism was like, meh. Like, eh, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Then what about this? I don't care about that either. <laughs> they, were kind of, they probably were still doing video games while someone was asking them questions, like, wow. whatever, I'm whatever. I'm sitting dude. right here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Joanne, say, speak for your generation. What yeah. do you think it is? We don't know what capitalism and socialism are. Those are buzzwords. When you speak to millennials, you use buzzwords. So just like the words upcycle and synergy, we have no idea what it means. <laughs> uh, we just know what we're supposed to like and not like. But it's really kind of sad. I mean, hipsters are letting... Hipsters today are letting the hippies of yesterday down. It's like, depend on the man. I want more government in my life. It's like, what? We worked yeah. so hard for you to say that? Isn't that true? Awful. I mean, what, what is it about, uh, you know, people, uh, Steve Byrne, what is it, uh, what's going on? <laughs> Tom, Just a happened? general question. <laughs> what happened? I, I, are you the host? I am. Um, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I appreciate capitalism. Look, I'm going to be celebrating capitalism when I'm done here. I'm going to go to Starbucks and enjoy the free Wi-Fi as I tweet on my iPhone. And then when you hear tire wheels screeching, that's me peeling out down Fifth Avenue in a Saturn with his moonroof down. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. That is, You're a big star. You've reached that yeah. point in your career? And it's a moonroof, not a sunroof? Three years on basic cable television. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> no, you're welcome. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. If you like yeah. Sullivan and Son... Thank, yeah, you thank me. You, you, you hated yeah. it. You think, yeah. Thank you. Thank God. Either way, we got to put those residge checks. They get you a moonroof. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, not one that opens. Yeah. 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 But you were talking about texting. Maybe that's it. That theory. Young people are always texting. They don't capitalize. They thought they meant capitalization, oh. not cap uh, capitalism. Good thinking. Yeah. That's the way. That's why they problem solved. Yeah. That's who's the host now, Steve Byrne? <laughs> Coming up.